So talking about kind of half guard, I love it for leg locks. I mean, this top leg is there all the time. You know what I mean? Whether I'm falling back, whether I'm spinning over to, to catch this leg, I have a leg lock at, at every point. So I, I love being in half guard for that reason. I'm very comfortable from here too. Um, for this specific technique in kind of float work, I need to have my feet clear. So if he has me in lockdown here, just kind of tie, right? He kind of ties up. I can't do this because I can't rotate my hip. So I need to actually be free of this and I need to have this foot up here, right? Just spin a little bit. And in general, anytime you're in half guard, if you can hide this foot up here so that he doesn't catch it, because then if he catches it, you have to do it work on set. Okay, it's just a pain in the butt. So sometimes I'll triangle here, I'll put heavy pressure with my hip down. Okay, it really makes it hard for him to move his hips around. But sometimes I'll just be here, depending on what I'm trying to do. Okay. But generally speaking, this foot wants to be tucked up. I don't want to leave it back here. Okay. So like I was saying, I have my foot tucked up. I'm in a kind of conventional top half guard control where I have over under here. Okay. I really just need to get here to be able to hit this move and I'm going to get it. Okay, it's really, really hard to stop. So from this position, I'm going to cup his shoulder. And I'm going to lean and drive my weight forward to the mat. Okay? See here? Next step is my hand's going to come over his face. Okay? And I'm going to just keep his head there. Right? Now, I'm pretty inflexible. Okay? But I can do this move. So if I can do this, there's no excuses. Everybody should be able to do this move. So what I'm going to do, even though he's got my leg trapped, I'm going to post my leg up here. Okay? And I'm going to shut my knee down. Right? Now I'm going to just kind of pull the shoulder up a little bit and scoop my leg under his head. Okay? Now, when I get to this point right here, I want to, I want to stay tight. I want to pin his arm on the mat. Okay? And this is essential to, to actually getting and finishing with this Kimura. Okay? So I'm pinning his, his arm to the mat with my shoulder. I'm going to do a change off. One. Two. Okay? Keeping his arm over here. Now once I get to here, I'm gonna start posting up a little bit onto my elbow, I'm finding my wrist, okay? All of our weight is right here, okay? Now, I'm gonna move up, creep up. He tapped from that, okay? If the guy has really flexible shoulders. I don't. <laughs> I don't either, okay? I'm gonna post on his wrist, and now I just lift. You guys see that, okay? So I'm posting on, I'm gonna move his arm down a little bit so he's more flexible, post on his wrist. And I lift. And you guys can see the farther down this arm is, the more flexibility he has. You know, the more he can um, he can kind of go with the submission. So I want to bring this up, 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 and then boom, that's the tap. Okay. So one more time. Nice little pool of sweat. I apologize if it goes in my mouth. <laughs> right. So we're here. Over under control. This foot is hidden. Okay. I'm gonna lean my weight forward here on the mat. On the other side of his head, and I'm here, and I'm under, okay? Trapping this arm right there. Change off, one, two. That has to be super tight. Final wrist, now from here. Bam, that's the tap, okay? All right. We're gonna start there, and then we'll kind of change all together. 